Hi, Mr. Gill here. This is it. How to write a business report using Microsoft Word. What we've all been waiting for. This potentially is one of the most useful skills uh, you can learn in the uh, BTT course and will do you well in your uh, high school and business career. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website and in BTT it's under Word Business Communication Reports and here are the two documents that Ms. Cooch created and uh, we will review uh, the overview document first and then we will go through and create a report template. So that's the overview document and it is a business report. There's a title page, there's your table of contents that's set up and here's what the actual report would look like and this is useful to just go through briefly because this we're going to create a template so you can use it whenever you have to create just modify it whenever you have to create a report. So a general report, here's what it looks like. There's a title page, table of contents, executive summary, here's how you do an executive summary, introduction, the report pages, conclusion, and bibliography. So that's what the report looks like. This is a good section here to look at. It explains how the report is divided up and whether it's section breaks or page breaks. Uh, to divide the report up. So section one is your title page, two is your table of contents, which is computer generated, three is executive summary, which is on its own page, and then you have the main report section here, and this is what we'll create uh, together. All the sections of the main report, introduction, some headings for your main document, conclusion, and then your bibliography is also on a separate page. So what you want to do is review both the documents, but get this document out in front of you and uh, you know review it. And I will create a Word report uh, with you using this document if you want to follow it. So the first step is actually uh, opening Word and saving it, the report template and your last name. So, and then number two is using Control A that selects the entire document and we'll change the font to be Times Roman and 12 throughout the whole document. We'll also change the, under paragraph, we'll change the line spacing to be double spaced. So now this has changed in, in your entire document. Now our number four, under view, outline, and then on the home tab in the paragraph we want to turn on character marks and that's so you can see the instructions that you're giving the computer and now number five under page layout we want to go to the breaks here's where you put all the section and page breaks in so follow number five it says you start with two section breaks so there's one section break another section break and then you do two page breaks page break page break and we'll put some carriage returns after each break and we'll get rid of those later. Now number six we go back to view print layout and now you can see we've got five pages uh, set up for the document. Your first page will be the uh, section one which is the title page and now we are going to ignore that for now. We'll go to page two. And this is where the table of contents will be created later. And we will insert a header and footer. So to do so, we double click on top. And here it says header section two, same as previous. So we want to get rid of the same as previous. So under the design tab, now uh, we click this link to previous and that will turn the same as previous off to ensure no header appears in section one the, or page one, the title page. The main, we'll just type this, call this main heading. This will be the main heading of your report, your report name. Next we'll move 
to the footer, go to footer, and we'll do the same thing. We'll get rid of the same as previous on the footer by clicking the link to previous, and it disappeared. Now on the left, we will type your first name, and then we'll tab over the course code, and we would highlight this to make it times Roman and 12. And now we go to page three or section three. So next we go to, uh, we're on G, we move to page three or section three. This is the main page where the report will begin. So leave the header as is. And we'll move to the, to the footer. Go to footer. And we'll click on link to previous button to turn it off again. There it goes. And we will, we want to insert a page name page number uh, in the middle of the footer. So to do this on the design tab, in the header footer area, page number, and I'm click here, bottom of page, and there's the one that puts it in the middle. Now, the page number now needs to begin on page one instead of three, so to do this, we highlight it, and under the Design tab, Page Number, Format Page Number, and we just click here to start at number one. So now, page one is the main section of the document. There's no page number start on the main section, not the title page and not the table of contents. What we want to add on the footer is your name again and the course code. And remember to save it every once in a while. Now we want to close the footer. You can click anywhere. You can just click close footer up there. Final step creating uh, the, the report template is to make the, the headings which generate the table of contents. So we want to go to the beginning of section three, which is right here. And we want to type executive summary. And we want to highlight the words executive summary. And on the home tab, we want to set that as a heading one. And now we next we want to format the headings to your style, not the computer style. To do this, we click here under styles and we go to apply styles. And then next, we hit the Modify button, and here's where we want to apply the font times Roman. We want it 14, we want it bold, and we want this automatic. Next thing we want to do is we want to hit Format here, and we want to change the paragraph settings to be spaces six before and six after. Hit OK. All right, so there we go. There's our executive summary. And that'll be a page on its own. So now we'll scroll down to page four which will be the main section of the introduction, because that's the first thing we put in here, introduction. And we want to 
make that a heading number one. And then we want to type uh, some heading one. Make that a heading one as well. And then we want to do a heading two. And in this case, we want to click heading heading two. And while it's highlighted, we want to apply formatting. So we want to make that Times Roman and uh, third font size 13. It's already set up as that. And we want it to be bold. And we want it to uh, automatic again. All right. So we can do a couple more heading ones and twos. And finally, on the main section, we want a conclusion. And we'll make that a heading one. And now we want a bibliography, and that has to be on its own page. So that'll be on the final page, page five. Type in bibliography. and format to heading one. And finally, we want to create the table of contents. So we have to go back to section two, or the original page two. There we are. And we'll type table of contents. And we won't make it a heading one, but we will Make it times Roman and 14. Now what we want to do is uh, create the table of contents. So what we do is we go to the reference section and there's table of contents. And we hit the little icon there and insert table of contents on the bottom. And on the lower left here, it says general. And you choose a style, and the style will show you what it looks like. Oops, up here. There's your style. So let's try formal. And I will hit OK. And there is my table of contents. And executive summary starts on page one. The main section starts on page two, bibliography its own section, page three. So now you, you would save that as your um, report template. And when you do your first project or any project, you just uh, create your own title page document. There's the, there's the instructions for title page, report title, graphic, and then how you set up your title page. And then you have your table of contents and that can be uh, changed if you just change the what the headings say, if you change this to whatever, whatever you want and then you redo the table of contents, it'll be uh, automatically generated and all the page numbers will uh, Keep track if you uh, add a lot of pages. So that's it, how to create a template, a business report template in Word. Thank you very much and good luck on your projects.